Hello and welcome to this video where I will be showing you how to use digital stickers for speech therapy. In my Teachers Pay Teachers shop, I have created this free digital sticker book, which is in Google Slides, and you are more than welcome to make a copy of it and use it with your own students. In fact, if you want to make more than one copy, if you want to make a book like this for each of your students or multiple students, um, then you can do that by going to file, make a copy, and then select entire presentation and it will prompt you for how to name that copy. Um, so that way you can um, have multiple sticker books, one for each student, and you can change the name up here if you want to include the child's name. Alternatively, if you just want to add sticker book pages for multiple students, you can duplicate an individual slide or page as many times as you needed by right clicking on the thumbnail and select duplicate slide. That way um, you're keeping track of all sticker book pages in one Google Slides presentation. So it's totally up to you what is easier to keep track of. So we have the cover slide here and then we have after that slide is page or a slide with charts of all different sizes, similar to if you would have a sticker chart on a piece of paper to fill in with stickers, you can add these to any of the pages in your sticker book. The directions for how to do that are actually here at the top, um, but basically you copy and paste whichever one you want using keyboard shortcuts. So you select the one you want and you select control C and then you go to the page, you want to paste it and do control V and it will paste it there for you. Once you get the chart to the slide, you can move it, you can resize it, um, however you need to, you can even turn it to however you would like it to be positioned. The first page of the sticker book has an editable text box at the top where you can type in a student's name if you want to, like that. You can, of course, add other text boxes anywhere on any of the slides by just clicking on this button right here, text box, drawing where you want it, and then you can type changing the font and the size, however you would like to. One thing to keep in mind is when we start adding stickers and maybe additional text boxes, those elements are going to layer on the slide in the order they were placed or pasted or positioned on the slide. So anything you add later will be on top. So if you did want to move something, a text box, to behind, maybe you have a sticker later, you have a sticker in front and you wanna move the text box, you can just right click on it and then click order, send backward or send to back. If it wasn't already on the front and you wanted to move it to the front or the top layer, you can click bring to front or bring forward. Okay, now let's add some stickers. I also have a set of free stickers in my TPT store that you are welcome to use and let me show you those. Okay, they are shiny stars. So they are like those foil star stickers that we've all seen. Um, you can make a copy of the sticker sheet in the same way that you made a copy of the sticker book using the downloaded PDF from Teachers Pay Teachers. So this is also, as you can see, a Google slide presentation. Um, so as you can see, it's a separate presentation. You have just one slide with the sheet of stickers. So where the stickers can freely move on the page, similar to an actual sticker page, right? Over here, I have a browser tab with my sticker book. And over here, I have a tab with my stickers. So I can copy this sticker, let's say, and I can paste it into a different tab using those same keyboard shortcuts, Control C and Control V. So I'm just gonna select the sticker I want, hit Control C, come over here to the page I want, and Control V, and it will paste there. And then again, you can just keep making duplicates of the same sticker if you want to. You can also select more than one. So let's say I want to get this whole top row. I can hit Control C, come over to the tab wherever I want it, 
and hit control V and it will paste right there. One thing I recommend is making sure that you don't cut the stickers because you want to leave the originals as is for future use most likely. So make sure if you right click, make sure you don't cut, make sure instead you hit copy. That way it doesn't actually pull the sticker off and you can paste it, but then it's gone. It won't be in the original position. So let's say I get a new set of stickers and let's say I get this Valentine's pack and it's again, its own presentation. So as you collect more, you can have, you know, several different of these presentations. One thing I might recommend to sort of streamline things so that you only have maybe one presentation or one file with all your digital stickers is to just copy the entire slide and add it to another presentation. So let's say I want this one to move over to where my other stickers are, my star stickers. So I can right click on that thumbnail and I can, so I'm selecting the thumbnail. And again, I use my keyboard shortcut, control C. I wanna come over here and I want it to go right here under this set of stickers and I will do control V and it pasted it. So now I have the sticker sheet underneath the other one that I have so that I can kind of have a collection of stickers in this one presentation. Another option for adding stickers could be straight from your computer. So the digital stickers in my store come with these Google Slides sticker sheets like these, but also they come as individual files that you can um, upload into Google Slides or Jamboard or Seesaw or whatever platform you're using with your own students. Just as a reminder, you're allowed to use these stickers with your students however you'd like, but you can't use the stickers to create activities or resources that you sell or give away to others. Only for you and your caseload or your students. So the way to add your own stickers is from that are saved onto your computer rather than transferring them from a Google Slides presentation is going insert, image and I would upload from my computer and then wherever you have them saved, you'll find that file and click on the one that you want. Again, you can resize however you'd like to so that they fit on the page as you wish. As far as ways to use the stickers in speech therapy, this is as open-ended as a set of printed stickers and a piece of paper that you might use during face-to-face -face therapy. But on the plus side, you can easily move the stickers around. They aren't stuck to the paper once they're used and you can always have more. You'll never run out. So you can use the stickers as reinforcement using these charts if you want to, um, you know, as each trial or a set of trials during a practice session, you could maybe have once the child or the student gets five stickers, um, then they get to take a turn in their game or some other reinforcement if you wanted to add to it or just the stickers alone as reinforcement, depending on your student. Um, you could have the students all select a sticker for doing a good job in the day and, you know, keep a running uh, page of all the stickers that a student selects each, each session, they get to choose one. Um, and then one of my favorite things to do is use the digital stickers as an activity in and of itself. So for these Valentine's Day stickers, um, maybe I want to um, use all of them. So again, I could copy, whoops, copy them. And maybe I wanna use them on this blank page here. And then I'm going to paste them like that. So maybe we would make up a scene or uh, make up a little story using the items in the, of the stickers. We could also compare and contrast the objects on two stickers or group them according to some feature that we're talking about. We could make some of the stickers really big. And then let's say I want to make a copy of that one and then I make it really small and we can talk about the change in size using taller or, you know, bigger or any other grammatical element that you want to use with that. We also could find stickers that have our target speech sound and practice those in phrases or sentences. We could add the text box to, um, you know, label them or type out a sentence that we come up with for that sound or that speech um, goal that we're targeting. So 
We could also have one person describe one of the objects on one of the stickers and the other students guess. We could even make a little memory game by making two copies of each sticker that we want to use, however big, if we want four matches or 12 matches, and then covering those with squares to um, kind of cover them up as if it was a card flipped over. So the way you could do that is just adding shapes. You could make a box and um, duplicate that same box and cover them up um, so that when it's somebody's turn, they can slide down to see what's under the box and play like memory or matching game. So there are so many, many, many possibilities for how you can use the stickers in your sessions for speech and language. As you can see, I hope this video gives you some confidence for using digital stickers and um, not being afraid of the technology, because once you get the aspect of that technology and you get the hang of it, you realize how many ways you can use digital stickers in speech therapy above and beyond what I shared with you. So thanks for watching and have fun.